Here, um, I'm not good with these. You dropped it down there. That could have gone better. Everyone okay? Lee's still bitten. Shut up. Okay, let's get out of here and keep moving. Kid's right, we gotta keep moving. Think there's any chance we get Clem and catch up to those goddamn thieves? I don't know. Maybe. Well, we're not going out through this window. No latches, no roof access, and 30 feet straight down. Anyone have any ideas? I bet this guy would. He's got a resourceful air about him. Knock it off. Dixon Kent III. Industrial... Need? Krista. Just trying to lighten the fucking tone. We need solutions, not stupid jokes. I'm sorry. So, no ideas then. There's gotta be another way. Check the floor for any other access, a vent, anything. Or we wait for the house to clear out and stick to the high ground. Whoa, Lee, you okay? Yeah, yeah, I'm, I'm gonna have to just... Get up! Did you hear that? Yeah, I did. What did that mean? She's at the hotel. Where her parents were staying. He hasn't moved her. Yet. Yeah. Yet. We need to start thinking about more than just Clementine when it comes to our... urgency. What do you mean? How do we get out of here? That's the whole point. We don't know. Okay, now your life depends on it. How do you get out of here? I don't know. I don't get it. I do. Stop it! We can't panic! How long you think we have? What? I... I don't know. We should've cut it off. At least then there would've been a chance. Well, you didn't. And it's too late now. I think we need to have an adult conversation. About what happens if Lee takes another spill? Hey, look. We could be looking at a Larry situation here. Who's Larry? It don't matter. He looks fine to me. We don't need to talk about it. I think we do. I said we don't. Guys, I don't know what happened before Omid and I showed up, but we can cross this bridge when we get to it. Lee, I'm not advocating anything here, but how is this not a thing? We're all so worked up about Clementine that we're forgetting what the fuck happened to you! My arm is not the issue! I'm not the problem! The 500 walkers in the house and no door in this room are the goddamn problem! Yeah, maybe at the moment, but who's to say when it becomes an issue? At that point, there may not be any time left to deal with it! This is getting out of hand. You're gonna listen to me! We will get Clementine back, with or without you! Because I haven't given up everything to die because we were stupid. I'm sorry, okay? Fuck, we can't do this! We're gonna have to! Ah! You ruined that dude's face. Shut up, sweetie. Look! It's corroded to hell. What's on the other side of this wall? A 30-foot drop? No. This mansion butts up against the one next door. I'll be damned. This wall ain't shit. Is this really possible? Yeah, we can do this. Okay. We'll work in shifts. Omid, Krista, and I. Lee, you rest. We have to work fast. <laughs> Sorry. Me too. I get it. Go sit down.
I'm glad you told us when you got bitten. It would have been easy not to. Yeah. Well. We probably would have let you go alone if you hadn't told us. Which would have been a mistake. If I were you, I would have been scared shitless. I am. Uh, and when it happened? I panicked. But now I feel it inside me. Like the day before you get the flu. It's horrible. Wish you would have taken it off? Don't think it matters much now. I'm losing a lot of feeling in it. Really? Yeah, it's hot, like when you break a bone. But tingly, like it's asleep. <sighs> so when we get this guy, what do you think? <clears throat> we make sure he never takes anybody from anyone again. Earl's got enough evil in him. And, you know, whatever happens to you... Seriously, can you not talk like that? The entire time we were at the hospital, I could sense you think you're as good as dead. I'm bitten, Krista. We all know that's a wrap. There's gotta be something. I want you guys to take her. Stop it. I'm serious. She'd be safe and relatively happy with you. We're not doing this right now. Krista, listen to him. It's what I want, okay? What about him? He'll figure himself out one way or another. What do you mean by that? He'll either get his act together, or something will happen to him. That's it? What else is there to say? He loses shit like that often? No. That was a first. It's good that he did. Kenny couldn't pull that shit on me. The kid killed his family, so there's been some tension there. Really? What happened? Kenny's son got bitten during a raid by some gang that Ben was secretly helping. They used him. Kenny's wife died because of their son. Jesus. Well, seems like it got through to Kenny. Whatever that's good for. All right. I'm out of gas. You look good and rested. Sure. If you don't count an infected leg. You want me to do it? Nah, hun. You can hop in after me. Shouldn't be long now. It's good we're forced to take a breath. I still can't believe you went and got chomped. Just... Fucking hell. At least he told us. Took some brass. I don't think I would've. How are you? I'm... Uh, I don't know how to answer that. I'm sorry. You've lost more than anyone. Well, as much as anyone. Lee's family's gone too. It'll be alright, kid. Why are you acting like what's happened ain't happened? Anyway, I appreciate it from both of you. A lot of us have lost families. Maybe take it easy on him from here on out. I'm angry as hell. Not at him. Maybe. Maybe not. You heard him outside. I did. I never really thought about it that way. This guy tell you much about what we've been through? Bits and pieces. Well, he can't fight for shit. Well, look at him. Hey. Soft as rotten fruit. Like you guys didn't have enough problems without punching each other in the face? Yeah, he had to knock some sense into me before we met you on the train. I'm sorry for hurting you in any way, Kenny. It's impossible to go through life without causing some sort of pain. But sometimes I can't help but wonder if I could have caused a little less. You and me both, Doc. Well, cheers. <sighs> Mm. <laughs>
I'm through! No walkers. Things are looking up. <laughs> 